zero. Oh. Four zero. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Those are the highlight reels we need. Turns out pickleball is not the new popular state fair food. It's actually the fastest growing sport in the country. And today, I'm going head to head with a national champion, Rachel Krug. Luckily, she's also a pickleball coach, so she can teach me the basics before she really takes me to school. Hey, hey. Hey, Chance. How are you? Good. Thanks for meeting me out here. We are gonna start off with a little stretching, a uh -huh. little run first, get the blood pumping. Well, let's get busy. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, get right. low, get low. How about a little grapevine? There you go, twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Just like you do when you're yoga yeah. instructing. You're speaking my language. That's it. I know what you mean. Pickleball is taking the world by storm, and Minnesotans of all ages are no exception. The sport is kind of like a cross between ping pong and tennis. A set of paddles and balls go for as little as 50 bucks. New pickleball courts are popping up all over. The USA Pickleball app Places to Play is a great resource to find courts near you. I recommend a good pair of tennis shoes and protective eyewear for safety. First thing is you shake hands with the paddle. That's your forehand grip, that's your backhand grip. Just a plastic ball on a composite paddle. It's like a wiffle ball, is it's, what yeah, I Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Just to kind of get the feel of the ball on the paddle and how little it takes. It's very responsive. And then you can flip it over and do the backhand. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I thought oh. this game was hard. Oh, man. <laughs> so for the serve, we got to go diagonal. Okay. Basically, it's an underhand serve in between those cones. Oh! <laughs> Give it a try. Love, love. Nice. If you want to get a little more power on it, you know it. A little more explosion through your hips. Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Too much power. That was the best <laughs> one yet. I could do this all day. This is a small court. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's one fourth the size of a tennis court. Got it. So it's more like ping pong, but you're on the table. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Okay. That's it. Pickleball was dreamed up in Washington State in the 1960s by a couple of dads trying to entertain their bored kids. Now, I can relate to that. Faced with an old badminton court, ping pong paddles, and a plastic ball, the groundwork for the new sport was laid. The whole goal of the game is to get up to this line right here. This seven feet from the net is called the non-volley zone. They have a nickname for it called the kitchen. You can't stand in the kitchen and volley the ball. And a volley is a ball that doesn't bounce. bounce. Got yeah, it. you're getting uh -huh. it out of the air. You can't reach in and then yeah, follow in. through. Okay. Then that's a footfall. Got it. So the whole object is to get up to the kitchen. Okay. Because we want this shot. I mean, even the sound of that. It's the money shot. Uh-huh. It's called a punch volley. So we're going to toss the ball up to ourselves, and we're going to punch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. We're going to go to the next shot, which you're going to love, because it's called the smackdown. The smackdown. So your punch volley just went deep in the court, which is great. Mm -hmm. But sometimes... He went when... in the kitchen. Exactly. All right. Yeah. With some spin on it. Oh, you can't defend against that. This is a shot called the dink. Okay, all right. I, I know, it's crazy. I like it. And, and it's a very soft shot, and you want the ball to bounce in the kitchen. Now you think, dink. well, yeah, dink. Uh, <laughs> so a bad dink, you get the smack down. That's it. The lingo, I got uh, it. Push, that's it. Sweet. So I'm going to go on the other side. Uh -huh. We're going to dink. Yeah, all right. Back and forth and get a little rally going. That's perfect. You just killed that ball with kindness. You softened it. It's a good way to live life. Good. See, I stepped into the kitchen. That's okay. Because it bounced. Yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh nice, nice reaction. <laughs> Got to channel my Forrest Gump here. There you go. Oh, that, that's a great shot. If it bounces twice, you get a score. You get a score. Can you score any time? Uh, no. The serve has got to bounce. Then the service return has got to bounce. Oh. Then after that, it's free to hit as a volley. So you're a national champion. 
Yeah, I won my first national championship in singles, and then I got uh, women's doubles. That's my favorite, because there's a lot of strategy involved. You can tell this is a popular sport. How did you get into it? I was headed down to Florida to go play tennis with my dad, but he said he can't play tennis anymore, so my heart sank, because he's my athletic hero. He said it's okay, I found a new sport, so I thank him. And I always carry my dad's paddle with me. This 20 years old or something. I try to carry his torch. <laughs> Paddle's got uh, got some miles on it. Looks like technology's come a little ways. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. Raise the champion. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm lightly sweating, you yeah. know, just volleying it back and forth. It is, right. It's physical, but it's not super high impact. What are the health, wellness benefits to this sport? There are people playing this sport that have never played a sport in their life. It's easy to just pick it up. It's hard to master. I've been playing for 15 years. I was part of the first original group that, that played on these courts. For sure. There's still so much to learn. Right. And that's exciting. And the other thing, you, you have a whole new social group of friends. It's a very friendly sport. It's a community. This sport has become more and more popular. The major league, like what? what is like that about? So it's added a whole new element to pickleball. Got that whole camaraderie of a now a team. It's not just two people versus two people. Sure. You're aware of the big sports personalities that are that are purchasing these teams. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a movement. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Okay, Chance, I, I think you're ready. All right, okay. so just in a little review. All right. The serve has got to go cross court. It can land on the center line, the baseline, or the sideline, but it's got to clear the non-volley zone line. Got it. Play to 11, win by two, and only score on your own serve. That's it. And what if you get hit with the ball? You mean if I tattoo you? Yeah, if I get yeah. tattooed? Yeah, uh-huh. Then it would be my point. Okay. It's a little bit like dodgeball uh, in that that's game. That's right. Like, yeah. Remember, this is just for fun. That's right. <laughs> All right. Awesome. got to do what she's got to do. It might be time for your comeback. Now okay? or never, baby. 10-0. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I got one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice one, nice hey. pickup. Oh man. Excellent game. How about you and I partner up and we take on a couple people here. We'll do some doubles. I want you on my team. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Chance, my name is Mohammed, and this is Sari. Are you pro pickleballers or what? I'm not really pro, but I can play. Okay, okay. Like I'm All as right. ready as we're gonna be. Here we go. I learned so much today because I literally was starting from no knowledge at all. I really like the idea of it being a multi-generational sport. You can play throughout your life. It's a flow sport. Overall, it's health and wellness. You get up and move your body. You go out, you hang out with people. You grow your community. Oh! That was good. Oh, good shot. champion stuff right there. The rising popularity of the sport has made it very accessible and definitely for everybody. And can't wait to get out here and do it again. It's Chance, AKA Big Pickle, signing off. <laughs>